Hey there, Louis Akabals here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can send a video message in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now Microsoft finally added the ability to send video messages in a chat. Now, at the time of recording this tutorial, this feature is in the public preview program and it is expected to be released into general availability in the coming months. Now, if you're interested in learning how to opt into the public preview program, check out my tutorial. I've put the link in the description below and you can click that card in the upper right-hand corner of this video. Now, to send a video message, what you want to do is you want to navigate to the chat that you want to send that video message in. Now you can see here I'm in a chat window with my colleague Diego and you'll notice that there is a new video icon just to the left of the send button. And when you hover your cursor over this, it says record a video clip. Now when you go ahead and click on it, what it is going to do is it is going to bring up the record a video clip window. Now you have a few different options here. First and foremost, you can configure your camera and your microphone settings just by clicking on the specific icon. And when you're ready to go ahead and start recording, then you just wanna go ahead and click on that record button. Now I've gone ahead and I've actually just recorded a five second clip here so I can demonstrate how you can kind of trim the clip and send it. What's important to note is that currently you can only send up to a minute video. So if you're planning on sending something longer than a minute, you will not be able to do that. Now when you're ready to actually send your video, you wanna go ahead and click on the review button. And that's going to bring up the review your video clip window where you can actually trim the message. Now, if you've ever worked with any basic mobile or desktop video app, you can see here that in order to trim the message, you can just grab the handles on the start and end point of your video and you can go ahead and drag them to trim your video down. Now, if you wanna actually go ahead and play the clip and preview it before you send it, you can click on the play button. And if you're not happy with your video, you can just go ahead and click record again. And it is going to prompt you to delete that current recording and then go ahead and send a new one. Now I'll just cancel out of this. Once you're ready to send that video message, you wanna go ahead and click the send button. And you can see here, really important, it's uploading. And there was a message that said, do not exit the chat until the upload has been completed. If you do that, you're actually going to lose your video clip. So very important to stay in the window until it's been uploaded. And once it's been uploaded, you can see here it's been sent. It shows the length of the video in the lower right-hand corner. And it also shows this play button, which if you click, it's going to go ahead and play that clip there. Now you can also expand these videos to play in full screen if that's something that you wanted to do. And you can also expedite the playback speed by clicking on this option here. Now, if you hover your cursor over the video, you'll notice you still have the same sort of reaction options here. And if you click on the more options button, you'll notice that you can reply to this just like a normal chat. You can delete it, etc. Now you obviously cannot edit this because it is a video. So if you, again, you made a mistake or you said something that isn't quite true, then you wanna go ahead and delete this video message and then you wanna record it and send it again. Now, really important note, I tried to find out where those video files are actually stored in Microsoft Teams, and I was unable to figure that out, and I wasn't able to find any documentation that provides an answer to that question right now. Now, intuitively, I thought that the video files would be stored in OneDrive. In case you weren't aware, meeting recordings are stored in OneDrive. You can see here that Microsoft Teams will automatically create folders in your OneDrive called Teams data. And if you click into that, it's going to store wikis that you've added to Teams. And it also has a folder called Microsoft Teams chat files. And this is where files that you share in a chat are stored. Now, if I scroll through here, you can see there are no video files. So it's interesting that those video files wouldn't reside in the same place that other files you send in chat are. Now, if I do find out where those files are stored, I'm going to go ahead and just post that as a pinned comment below. So be sure to check out the description and be sure to check out the comments below. Now that's it. This was just a really quick tutorial showing you how you can send a video message in Microsoft Teams. 
Again, at the time of recording this tutorial, this feature is currently in public preview and it is expected to be released into general availability in the coming months. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.